This one's going to be for the Mate desktop users. Um, this time I'm going to create a hotkey to change our wallpaper. Or you can actually create a script to uh, change the wallpaper you know, automatically, maybe every 30 minutes or whatever you want to do. So that's what we're going to do for this one. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is open up your Mate key binding. And they call it keyboard shortcuts in your menu somewhere. Okay. So I'll go all the way to the bottom here. Um, and click on add and give it a name whatever you want I already have one here but this is where you uh, have your custom one here right so this is my wallpaper and let me um, expand this here this thing is pretty long I'll post you this in the description so you can see it better but basically what it says is in the command here it's just bash and we're using the dash C for command and this is uh, the whole code the only thing you have to change in here is um, the folder of your wallpaper is that. So mine's in my picture wallpaper folder, right? So yours can be in a different location. I don't know where it is, but just change that part. And that's pretty much all you do. And hit apply, and then you're done, right? And the way that it works is, uh, you know, you assign a shortcut to it. So my shortcut right here is Control Alt period. Just click on here and just you know hit your combo that you want. I already have my combo here is control out period. So if I do that, control out period, it'll just change the wallpaper, you know, whenever I hit that uh, hot key here, right? So that's that. Now, if you want to do this, like let's say automatically, maybe every 10 or 20 minutes or whatever, uh, you're going to have to write a script. So I already have the script here, but it's pretty easy. Just right click on anywhere on your file manager here and create a document and then you just get the empty file right and the name of it you can call it whatever you want um i call mine what was my there you go i call mine mate uh dash wallpaper dash changer dot sh and inside it let me double click on here uh all you gotta do is type in this thing here again i'll paste this in the description somewhere so you can get it but basically, you know, the bin bash for our header. And we're going to set this to a loop. So we do while true and then do. And then how many um, seconds um, that you want it to sleep for. So for our example, we just going to do 10 seconds. But if you have like, you know, an hour or something like that, then you will t times it by 60, whatever. All right. So we're going to do this um, 10 seconds. And the code is pretty much the same, like I said. And again, the important part is to point it to your picture folder. Okay. So my picture is in my picture, and then wallpaper is here. And after that, it's done. That's it. So we'll save the sucker, and I'll run this. Let me see here. Yeah, okay, we'll run this here for our example here. So in 10 seconds, uh, the wallpaper here should change. Let me close this one down here. So we'll wait for 10 seconds. And there you go. It changes the wallpapers, right? So hit Control D here. Uh, if you want to manually start it from here, you can do that. And just put the and sign uh, at the end of your terminal here. And it'll run it in the background. Uh, if you want to do this automatically on startup, instead of wasting your time doing this from the terminal, you can always open up your menu here and search for startup application somewhere here. There you go. Right, and added it uh, here. Add, give it a name, maybe like wallpaper or something. And the command, just pointing to the script that you created. So our script was um, the mate wallpaper changer here, open, and um, that's it. We hit add, and now whenever you boot up, it will just run the script, and the script will loop it uh, at whatever, how many, many seconds that you set it to. Oh yeah, another thing is after you created you know this file or whatever, you have to um, set permission to it. So right click on here and go to properties. And go to permission and then check this little box here right otherwise it's not going to run um, 
So that's all you gotta do for that. And like I said, if you want to, what is that? Change uh, the minutes or whatever. So what is this? If you wanna make it like an hour, what is an hour? So an hour would be 60 minutes, right? We'll turn that by seconds here. So an hour would be 36 hundred here and that will run it for an hour so every hour it will just change it uh, to a new wallpaper or whatever you want to do 30 minutes whatever it is uh, just make sure you times it by 60 seconds All right so that's that um, if you ever want to kill the script because you know if it started already um, you can always open up what is that call your system monitor something like that yeah mate system monitor here and you can always run let's say if, for example if i was running this let's see here if i was running this in the background with the and sign here like i said before right it's just gonna run it in the background and if you ever want to kill it you have to uh, go in here and find the the script and then you hit end process and it won't do um you know the looping anymore because you killed it with the script anyways uh, I'll post a script in the description and all that that'll be it for this one